Okay. There we go. Welcome to today's Psychic Lunch with myself, Angel Expert, of course, presenter and healer, Chris Meredith. And right there, you can see her. It is a lovely psychic and medium, Eleanor Grace. How are you doing, lovely? Hello. I'm very, very well, Chris. And I'm really looking forward to this week's Psychic Lunch because we're having cocktails and uh, some special cocktails as well. You can see behind me, we're in my kitchen <laughs> and I've made some up for us uh, because it's the bank holiday weekend and it's time just to relax a little bit isn't it forget about all the the troubles and all the woes and but we've got some really nice recipes that will all be up on the website and also on uh, Facebook live a little bit later on in uh, sort of honor really of Tom Hardy launching his new venom this September I've, I've got a psychic venom drink Ooh. it's I'll tell you all about it a little bit later and uh, angel face and spirit surprise so we've got a few <laughs> different recipes that and you I'd love it if you could come in and tell us all about your recipes as well as we're going forward um but I also want to talk about holiday Day romances mm -hmm. and that's what our topic is here today and so I've got a few uh, questions that have come in from mediumship life on Monday and that really I asked out to the group to everybody that was there well what's your experience what what you know what do you remember so over to you, Chris. What do you remember? <laughs> on the day, romance. I mean, does it trigger special memories for you? I love it. I absolutely love the topic as well. You know, everyone that's watching will love it because it really brings back memories of yesteryear and time for me when I was 16. And oh, wow. I was in Greece. It was my mum's 50th. And, wow. and like, back then, you know, I was young, discovering sexuality, all that kind of stuff. And I always remember the guy was above us and then we was low. I used to look up and I always remember him saying, like, you know, Romeo and Juliet? Yeah, oh, the the game, the I always used to look up to the balcony <laughs> and then um, he used to be called there. He's called Dan, I remember him. He's a lovely guy as well. But, yeah, you know, yeah. it really was. It was so exciting, so yeah. invigorating, of course. I was young as well. And yeah. it just was amazing. But I remember those feelings and those memories, you know, to yeah. this day. And I think every single one of us has probably had a holiday romance on some level. And it just, even now when we speak about it, Eleanor, you know, it really just brings yeah kind of that love feeling that excitement back as well and it's just good to be back there isn't it well it is I remember I had my first kiss on oh. a holiday and that was um not very romantic really but I was 16 15 16 something like that and very shy really shy and really troubled by the fact that I've got red hair because in those days it wasn't very cool to have red hair so that was a real problem for me and it was this, so I was very shy and didn't you know sort of wasn't wasn't confident at all not at all and we were on a train and we were going to the, with the family with my brother and sister and we were going um to you know on, on one of these railway trips I think it was in Wales uh, mm. the Festiniog Railway as I remember it because we used to go to Wales a lot we used to go to Barmouth a lot and uh, there was this boy who um, I thought looked really cool, you know, and older. And uh, he, came, he came, I've just lost a lot of weight as well, and I have to do that again. <laughs> and he, he sort of came along and, and just um, sort of, you're really nice. And he kissed me. And it was my very first kiss, and I was so shocked. And that was on holiday. And he went off with his family, got off the train. I went with my family. That was it. Never saw him again. <laughs> but you've got the memory, Eleanor. You know, you've got that beautiful memory right there. And you know, it is know. it might have been dumped after the first kiss. I mean, no, no, it would not. It's Elder Grace. No, it would not. 
That's a beautiful so, little story, though. I know. So what is it that um, we've got from you guys? Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, I love it. And of course, you know, guys, first of all, thank you for watching this. Remember to share it to everyone. You know, share that love. That's what it's about. And also, you can send Eleanor Gray some beautiful stars right there as well. Remember, later on, we'll be doing a couple of readings as well. So my angel cards, of course, Eleanor's got her cards there as well. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Well, we've got lovely Heather that is watching. Yeah. Hello, Heather. She said, hi, guys. Lovely Sarah is there. She's put a hello. Lovely hello. debbie Ann has sent some stars. Said a big hello. Oh, hello there, debbie Ann. Thank you for your stars. Yeah. Yeah. We've got lovely Lisa there. She said, hello. We've got Eleanor. who said, hello, guys. Lisa as well. We've got Becky that said hello. Sheree has sent 50 stars. Liz oh, said says a big hello. Lovely Becky okay. said, share the love. Yes, yes, yes. Lovely Heather has put never had a holiday romance ah, oh. ah. have we got anybody that actually um fell in love on holiday you know and made it made it to to the wedding or the engagement i mean that that's rather special isn't it when, when you do that when you make it that, that's you know, like a dream that eleanor i think really? you know really? if anyone has had you know any holiday romances out there you know no matter how little if it's just a peck or maybe like eleanor said you know maybe you've managed to get down the aisle you've had kids everything like that let us know in the comments it <laughs> might be you know your shirley valentine Oh, do you remember the film of the Greek god <laughs> Shirley Valentine leaving her mundane life and closing the door behind and getting on um, on the plane to the Greek island and having her Shirley Valentine romance once in a lifetime and left it all behind and went home in the end to you know the all suffering husband. But never mind, she did it. So did we have any of those as well? You know, I mean that. <laughs> That's something else, but yeah. what are we doing? What are I love it. Doing? I love it. We've got Becky right there. Becky's put me 27 years worth of marriage. Wow. Oh, Becky. Do you know, I think that deserves a card. <laughs> <laughs> I think it does. Let me let me just get my. These are my Victorian romantic cars. These are really good. Look, um, they're fabulous, fabulous cars. Now, Becky, because you've made it and you've done it. <laughs> wow, that's what we want, isn't it? That's what we want to see. So, let's take a, a couple of cars here for you. Um, well done, twenty-seven years. Wow. Well, okay, Five of Pentacles is here at the moment. That sort of. It may be, Becky, you've been feeling as though life is just a little bit, um, a little bit too troublesome at the moment. Yeah, really. I feel that you've been weary and you've got a decision to make. Here's the judgment card here for you. And that's something that perhaps is a bit onerous. You know, you're reaching a time here, Becky, where you've just got to be feeling um, calm. Be, be calm because you're taking on a lot. And you've got to negotiate. The devil is here. That's quite romantic. So a bit of passion this weekend, I think, is on. Certainly, certainly on the cards here for you, Becky. I like to see that. But negotiate your corner. That's what you need to do. I think uh, Chris has got a couple of angel cards now for some of our sharers, perhaps, on Psychic Lunch here. Yes, we have. Well, we've got the lovely Claire Smith there. She sent 50 stars. I think that's worth an angel card. Mm -hmm. Too. I do not you, Eleanor. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. We've had a dropper as well. Bert's just moved. <laughs> For <laughs> anyone that wants to know, Bert's just under my feet as well. So he's yeah. part of today's psychic lunch. So this card for yourself, lovely, right there. This one is the Angel of Balance. So this uh -huh. card, first of all, you know, balance is such an important thing in life. You know, work, life balance, but of course, relationship as well. But really finding that time for yourself to find time just for you. That's what 
I'm getting is you really looking after you. We are the number one. We should be the most important person in our life. And sometimes we're not, you know, because family, other people, responsibilities, work, that always comes in before our own well-being. And of course, that knocks us off balance. So if you want to find some time for you to do what you really want to do, I feel that maybe you've got something inside of you that you know what you want to do, but maybe bit out of of balance right there you're not too sure you know go for it go and get it and really bring in that balance just for you so all about you lovely but i hope that resonates now i'm bringing in my uh, rose quartz crystal here uh this is so lovely as Uh, you do (laughs) well as i do yeah just got to pull in a little crystal ball so um i'm not getting a lot of the comments upon screen so who shall we go to who can read out somebody's question maybe you can ask a question holiday romance so what is it that you've got to say to us and let's have a look at your reading Oh, let's have it. So we've got the lovely Leslie here. They have a reading for Leslie uh, Strudwick right there. She's given us loads of hearts. Ah, thank you. All right, Leslie, um, all of the hearts then for you. Now, if you look very, very closely here into the crystal, you can see it's that beautiful blush pink colour. And I look, just to give you a, a heads up on crystal ball scrying, you must look straight through the crystal. Don't try and see something in the middle. It's using the energy of the crystal that actually heightens the psychic visions. You can see a lot more about that on my website on Psychic School, but it heightens the visions. What I'm seeing here for you, Leslie, is that um, I think you're making all sorts of plans. Uh, Let us know, will you? Because I've got plans, we've got lists, I've got list after list, writing things down getting your your life in order, particularly for September. So education is going to be important. Are you going to do a new course, Leslie? Um, I feel that anything that you really tackle right now will be successful. So because you've got like a a degree cap here, you know, you're, you're being given this as a universal image and this is making you feel so proud of yourself. So it doesn't really matter what it is. I'm not saying that you're going to do it. your opportunities and not to look back you know that's important too don't look back don't um don't really sort of worry too much about anything that seems to be a bit too onerous make your plans write your list do everything you need to uh, because you're going up in the world and that's really really good for you Oh, that's lovely. I love that. That's beautiful as well. And I love the crystal ball. I love that you bring the rose quartz energy into today's psychic lunch. It's beautiful. One of my favorite crystals as well. Really, yeah. Really. I just want to say as well um, that we've got some responses from last week's ghost stories. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy it? Chris, you've got some of the answers now. I've got them as well. So, what did you think happened? <laughs> it was so amazing, wasn't it? Um, it's something about your ghost story. We were talking, weren't we, just in the story. It was all about Auntie Pat and what happened, really, to Auntie Pat. Uh, so what did we have? Remember, we had, just as a quick reminder, we had teenagers, Linda and Helen. They were enjoying their first holiday without parents. So we're all holidaying from last <laughs> week. Is it, we, we've, got a, we've got a thread here, Chris, which is seamlessly working from one topic to another. Um, and this was about ghosts last week. We were talking all about the ghosts. So it was the loudest and most terrifying sound that came in from nowhere. And that is what we were 
asking. When it happened, Linda and Helen rose. They couldn't move, but managed to look into the mirror just before Auntie Pat gave out the most enormous scream. So what do you think happened next? What were they? What do you think happened? I love it. I absolutely love it. I mean, so many good comments as well. <laughs> uh, we've had the lovely mouse run up Auntie Pat's leg. Oh, really great. Really cool. That's really, really cool. I like that one. Also, another one was a light went out and Auntie Pat fainted. <laughs> Could be, well, yes, could I be. Yes. like that one. And then this one, I think this one's my favorite. It said, a ghostly figure appeared in the mirror. It was a vampire who lunged towards Auntie Pat. Now there's a lot of thought gone into that one. There is a lot of thought gone into that one. That one's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So we've got the ghoul, the ghoul and the ghost, haven't we there? And. Mm. <laughs> um, just as a reminder, if you haven't read the whole story, you can get it on my psychic blog, which is on gracedestiny.com. And I won't spoil the ending if you haven't actually read it already. Um, but go and have a look because uh, there's quite a lot of other, other stuff there as well. So it's um, really good. I mean, even I love it as well. I mean, I love to go on. You know, Eleanor's very talented, you know, with writing as well, but got you've got so much imagination right there. So if people are looking for a chance to escape or maybe just to read something a little bit different you know it's really really good and not too heavy or anything like that but it's just good get a brew you know and just have some you time it's really good to do that leads us nicely into tomorrow's psychic blog and holiday romances as well everything that we do uh, on holiday and obviously one of the things that really catches us all I think on holiday is romance isn't it mm. you know it's about well who might we meet you know or if you're in a lovely relationship are we going to spend some great time together that's appreciated and we appreciate each other so it's all about Mrs Monday and this is going to be available on my psychic blog from tonight, from midnight tonight. And we do have a little bit of a cliffhanger here. And I'm just gonna read you the first bit and then we'll move on rather swiftly to our cocktails and our section on how to make some cocktails for the weekend. So we've got Mrs. Monday here. Three small knocks on the hotel room door sounded her presence. The smooth surface emitted a hollow sound. It stood arrogantly between Jasmine and the man she thought was inside. Tentatively, she stood and waited a little longer. Raising her hand to her curled hair, she deli delicately felt for imperfections was shy. She bounced and pronged it with her fingers and looked around nervously to check again that she was alone. The red worn carpet trailed off into shadow and the wallpaper at first glance, blooming with colour, peeled quietly at the edges. She tried once more, her nails scratched the wood veneer and she jolted at the sound. Biting her lips, she wavered a little, her loosed fist swayed in the air, unsure whether to land on the wood or settle back into the normal shape of itself. Tom had told her to be there at nine o'clock sharp. He was always very direct with her. What happened next? <laughs> it's so good it's so good Eleanor no, I really love this more than anything remember you can find out at midnight at gracedestiny.com we'll be right there it's so good Eleanor no you need a novel you need a novel it's just as so simple as I better that. do one I better do one haven't I yes yeah oh, well next week we're going to be talking all about our higher self and mm. all of the intuitive um faculties that we've got we've all got them we've all got psychic senses we've all got that really positive element of uh 
psychic ability. We've lost it a lot along mm. the way because we run our lives by the clock, don't we? We've got that clock on the wall and that says it's nine, it's work, it's 10, it's bedtime, it's six o'clock, it's dinner time and so on. And the kid run and the kids run and everything that we're involved in. Uh, but our own psychic senses just jut in every now and again into everybody's life. And they say, oh, oh, wait a minute, what's that? Um, I don't feel good about this. So I feel a little bit unsettled. So that's what we're going to be talking about next week. And next week's psychic blog is all about a mystery. And that's taking us along a long journey towards the light at the end of the tunnel. Where is it? Mm. What is it? So watch out for that. But Mrs. Monday will be available at 12 midnight tonight. And if you want to enter into a little competition about um, who would like to win a free reading with me, well, then just send in some responses. Now, I think we've got a competition winner, haven't we? We do, we do. We definitely do. From last week's competition winner, which was a ghost competition, the winner is, feel like we need some... We do, we do some music. Is the lovely Hina Patel. So she's won a free reading with yourself, Eleanor, for 15 minutes. So if you're oh, watching right. Hina, you know, obviously Eleanor will contact you, you get in contact with her, and of course she'll sort that out for you, no problem. But make sure you enter yourselves into this week's competition, then of course you can get a reading with our lovely Eleanor Grace as well. It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So we want to know exactly what it is that you said. I've, I'm not sure whether it was Hina that said your favourite, which was um, the, the, the ghoul in the, yes. the was the vampire that came came through, or whether it was another one. I have to check because those three uh, answers they went into a little bit of a hat, you know, a Tom Bowler hat, and we, we I have to bring it in next week. We turned it around, and there it was. <laughs> Hina came out. So uh, well done, Hina. I look forward to speaking to you, and I'll arrange a video call. And that's what I do with all of my readings. It's a video call which is on WhatsApp or FaceTime or Skype or any of those platforms, whatever is easiest for you. Shall we get on with some more um, free psychic messages now? I think that's probably the right thing to do. Let's do that. I love that as well. And of course, you know, keep sharing this around to everyone. Share the love. That's what it's all about. And also remember, you can send stars right there. And of course, the more stars you send, you might get a little bit of a reading as well. But we've got some beautiful comments. Lovely. Oh. Caroline right there has put midnight. That's obviously for your lovely <laughs> story right there so you can find out we've got the lovely becky says keep going laugh out loud yeah. heather jones has put love a good paranormal romance don't we all lovely lisa's put stars sent and i've shared as well and right. then lovely becky's put i was using a ghost box and i caught a spirit reaching out a hand to me it's an amazing picture wow that's amazing that's so so good so so good right there and also on top of that we've all also got the lovely Amanda right there said I would love a reading well I'll tell you what Amanda I'll do a lovely angel card reading for yourself Fabulous. next week you. let's Fabulous. see what we have got for you and what the angels and the cards say for you sweetie let's have a look there we go so our oh, beautiful card need this this could be for everyone as well the angel of positivity now to be positive to be in that vibration as well it's difficult to do because you know we're living in this world you could be the most positive person then something can happen then your energy can plummet now in that moment when your energy does drop that's when you need to call on your helper angels or of course your guardian angel and just say i need some more positivity you know please help me with this and of course once you've said that you will start to see the light come in but it's important that you ask for that support you know maybe right now you're not in a positive place really look for the positives wherever you are well, however bleak your situation could be there will always be a positive light somewhere because sometimes we can be debbie downers and be a bit oh this is happening you know this isn't working out i'm not getting this you know but if you're in that cycle 
you know, we can really just be in there for a long time. It's not good for us to be in those negative places. So if you are struggling right now to really bring in those positive moments, you know, it feels good. I always think, you know, when you're when you help someone, you're nice to someone, you smile at someone, you feel good. You know, you give to charity, you feel good. To be in that positive vibration, that's how it should feel. So really call on the angel of positivity if you're needing that today. There you are. Lovely cards today. Oh, fabulous. That is fabulous. Really, really, really good. Um, I also feel this one is relevant as well. I've got a couple of cards to talk about. This is the butterfly. It's about transition and transformation. And I think that that's... That's going on in the world right now, and we can't comment on such matters because they're, they're bigger than us. But you know, it is about transition and about taking your yourself through perhaps some energy surges that you need to. And the butterfly here symbolizes that personal transformation. And when she appears, when the butterfly appears, and I think that this is perhaps for Hina, who's won the competition, because I've, ha I've got this in my hand when we were revealing the winner. And I think for Hina here, um, it's a transformation that is important, I think, for, for you, Hina, because you're being encouraged now to actually be more sensitive as well to your personal growth and to your expansion. The butterfly wants to remind you as well to find joy and lightness in life. So this is about bringing that energy in, which is so important, lifting everything up and really saying, look, you know, you can fly, you can be that butterfly. It might be a difficult journey, but you can do it. I also have just some responses as well from the mediumship hour that I do on a Monday. And I just want to um, read out some of the comments because a lot of people ask me, Chris, um, how do you do it? You know, how is it done? How, how do you get all of these spirit messages and how does it work? So we're going to be talking quite a lot about that next week. And at the moment, it's really just suffice to say that everybody has got psychic powers. Everybody can reach out. It's a lot of practice. I and mean, I've been doing this job now for 35 years professionally. So it's a long, long time. And you know, what you have to do, and what I will advise anybody to do setting out on this journey is to recognize your own personal universal images. So when you are doing a meditation or when you are really involved in trying to tell your client, your customer, your friend, your brother, sister, whoever, lover, what they want to know from the cards. You really have to rely upon the trigger that you get from the images that you're seeing. And that doesn't, it doesn't matter whether they're from cards, whether they're from a crystal ball, whether they're from your mind's eye, your own psychic eye. It doesn't really matter where it comes from, but you need to have like your own personal menu if I see a heart, it means this. That's quite a common thing. But there'll be lots of other things and lots of images that do come in and you don't understand them. You know, nobody understands them. And, and that's important to give out uh, to the room and important to, to give out to your your inquirer and to say, I even if you don't understand it, you need to say, well, this is what I've got. And they will absolutely you're giving a message to them so it's about clairvoyance and mediumship sort of mixed up together at first but then you learn to dis differentiate so margarita now margarita has been um on my mediumship hour for all over a year started in lockdown last march so we're well over a year now and she's a regular there um, but, you know, people can still be surprised, can't they? Um, because she said to me, Margarita Maria Rondane, said, thank you so much, Eleanor. You've made me so happy as all that you have told me made sense. Now, what happened was when I was looking at uh, Margarita was that into my room, which I have this sort of protected space, 
in came Ben, who was her husband, and he was not, it just looked like Father Christmas, not in a red suit or anything, but a big guy rolling in, he literally rolled as though you're rolling in off a cloud. And he sort of was rolling down, he dropped down, he said, I want to speak to Margarita. And that's what I could hear. And it sounds very strange, doesn't it? A lot of people think, well, you must be mad. <laughs> you must be completely <laughs> gone. However, that was her message, and that was very important for her. So do you have similar experiences with angels, Chris? When... Definitely, definitely. I mean, it's it's so beautiful. I mean, the vibration is different. But of course, you know, when you're doing angel card readings, when you're doing angelic Reiki, you know, like you said there, Eleanor, a big work. It's still spiritual work. But, mm. you know, sometimes you don't get you don't understand. Why have I got that? You know, and it'd be for a reason you know maybe you yeah. can't place it you can't make sense of it but the person that you're working with or working on you know they can place it and especially where angelic reiki is concerned you know whether you know the person's here or of course you know you do it online but the energy that you feel and sometimes it can be a physical ailment as well sometimes it can be emotional like when you're doing the healing and say if someone's got you know poorly leg or they've got problems that's kind of with the stomach internally or headache so you know i would pick that up yeah and of course yeah. when i'm, when I'm yeah. in the healing you know i didn't have this before why have i got this now you know it's like well, it's not mine and then after you go in to that the conversation just say well i picked this up i picked this up this is what are you you know struggling with this and then just like yeah yeah i've really been struggling with that and you know for me that's where the healing's gone that's how i know that's that confirmation where you know well i know they've had a problem with this the healing has gone straight there because i could feel it but now yeah. that you know will be going away and it's so yeah. powerful that the angelic energy where you know normal reiki is beautiful but the angelic reiki for me i've always connected with it so much more but when yeah. people come especially through the door here and even sometimes people are a bit like mm, not sure what is it but when they've experienced the healing it's just i love when they leave and they're just like wow yeah. you know and yeah. it's beautiful because it's confirmation you know not just for me but for them and that you know angels are real spirits real it's all real and yeah. you know we see yeah. it every single day eleanor you know we don't yeah. need proof and you know we're not here to tell people this is real but people have their own experiences like when they come through to you for a reading or they come yeah. through to me for healing you know that yeah. experience is their own personal experience with spirit which yeah. is beautiful and they see yeah. it for themselves which is important which is great do we have any comments there about yes we do, we do. We have collier right there she said hello she thought would like a spot of guidance to see if i'm on the right path i think we're all connected and love helping people that's really good trish i will shuffle these lovely angel cards just for mm. you sweetie and thank mm. you for sharing as well and of course and everybody I'm else well, well chris is shuffling there get your experiences in we want to hear don't we, we want of to course hear we do. Well, it's, it's what's beautiful. your psychic experience what have you had so <laughs> yeah there we go on oh, a lovely card so angel of decisions right there for yourself there trish so you know decisions can be difficult our whole lives can be built on decisions do i do this do i do that do i go this way do i go that way you know it can take a lot of stress it can take a lot of our energy up as well now if you're at the moment i feel like you could be at crossroads right now there's something where you need to decide on but you're not doing for whatever reason i'm just getting trust it go with the flow go with it but go where you are led it's as simple as that if you're struggling with it you know guardian angel is right there you know always remember if you're struggling kind of thinking don't know which way to go you know i'm going to make the wrong decision i'm going to make the right decision you know i've always said there's no wrong decision you know sometimes we go through life and you kind of think why did i do that but you know it's for a reason everything you've done good or bad has brought you right here, right now, which is amazing. You know, I always think that. So never look back, always look forward. And of course, if you're struggling with that decision and you don't really know which way to go, just remember you've got your guardian angel there for you. But a beautiful card once again, that's for you. Oh, that's that's really lovely, Chris. I mean, that's um that's the angelic realm, isn't it? And I think it's always important to try and find out which deity you're from. Yeah. where those archangels are and where it's like it's like a hereditary line isn't it yeah. so 
And that's where you can perhaps place people. And certainly when I'm doing readings, that's also where I'm placing mm. people. What are you with Raphael? Is that yep. the energy that it's you're It's beautiful. I mean, the way that it kind of works, especially within the healing, Eleanor, is that, yeah. you know, my eyes are closed. I'll just get the mm. colour, the mist. I'll know, you know, if it's blue, you know, Archangel Michael, you know, Green yeah. Gabrielle, and they just come in. And then I know that guardian angel are protecting the space as well. And you're, yeah. it's it, it's just, it's it's beautiful. And to be able, yeah. you know, to to work with the angels and now, of course, you know, to write about them, you know, in Fate and Fortune and magazine, it's to be able to bring, you know, my angel experiences and my guidance to people in many different ways and even doing this with you, you mm, know, it's just mm. so beautiful to do because it helps raise other people's kind of vibration as well and then they'll that's talk good. about it and that's how it does it which which is really really lovely really lovely trish put thank you so much that was lovely well thank you trish for that uh, we've had yes. um a kona right there she said a big hello we've had wichika there she said hi i'm from the uk hello lovely we've yeah. also had this one could be for you eleanor natalie all the way from boston has said uh, i would love a message of guidance please uh, Okay, hello Natalie from Boston. Um, my USA show was last night, which goes out from Washington, and that's I do with Moonstruck TV. And um, I'm a presenter for them and a radio host on so, uh, which gives me that whole American audience, which is fantastic. Completely different to the UK, I must say, um, but. It's live reading, so if you want to catch me live on uh, air, it's seven o'clock on a Tuesday. We do get a lot of people dive into the psychic lunch. So, Natalie, let's have a look at you as well. Um, just going to take some of my my guidance cards here because I think that you know it's nice to actually have a visual and to see what's around you, Natalie. Um, I feel there's a lot of blockages here. And this is really quite a, an American sort of style card. This is the Six of Wands. It's about really taking your successes where you can find them. So it's actually saying to you, look, there's lots and lots of areas where you don't really have to, to, to prove yourself anymore because this is success almost charging into the face of adversity. So adverse elements will have been in your life. So difficult time maybe the last two or three weeks and that you've been in a low mood. Uh, you've perhaps felt a bit overwhelmed. And what you're now receiving, Natalie, is this big push of confidence, inner energy, strength and protection. The Five of Cups here, gives you protection. The five is a very strong number that will actually protect you and keep you going. And look again, you're going to put your burden down over this man, Natalie, who's sort of walked away and you haven't been able to get the last word or your point across, but you are now all set, all ready for a new journey. So whatever the difficulties, um, you're good, you know, you're really in a good space. So I hope that helps and I hope that you have felt as though everything that you have tried to do has been worthwhile as well. And thank you for coming in onto the show here today. Now, I was about to mention, Chris, we have an angel cocktail and it's called Angel Face. Yeah. I'm going to get it. It's just over here. Um, this is one I made <laughs> earlier. So let me just. Know Eleanor's been waiting a whole life to say that. <laughs> oh, I know. What I made earlier. Do get So right. amazing. This is so good. This one here is Angel Face. Now you can see that um, you can have this as a non alcoholic version. Um, but you can also have this as a completely alcoholic version for the weekend, for when we're, we're off on our, our jolly time. So you've got um, some bitters in here, and so bitters, they're really important because they give that kick that you need, um, and that's very powerful. And this one is gin. We do have gin, and we do have uh, this lovely orange liqueur with gin, and we also have um, the, the oranges as well, just to give that special element. It's floaty, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really feel like it's alcoholic, to be honest. I tried it earlier, it really wasn't. So you could easily serve this, you know, to your family and friends this weekend. 
angel face. Now, what do you think angel face would represent, Chris? Which angel do you think we can put to angel face here? This is our cocktail. Angel. Absolutely love that. I love that. <laughs> I, I think that's so amazing. I'd say I, I love that. Me for me, that's all about sunshine, happiness as well. So I'd say the angel of sunshine, darling. Big angel part. of sunshine. Okay, well that's what we've got. We've got Chris's angel of sunshine. I will put the recipes up. I love it. I, I love that you've done this. But, but it's beautiful for people to you know. We've got the bank <laughs> holiday weekend come in as well, and bit yeah. of you time and making cocktails. It's fun, isn't it? Well, it is. I'll just have a sip, yeah, just to make sure that it's okay. Mm. <laughs> just in case. Oh, yes, that's rather wonderful. So we've tried that one. The most course. important thing there, the taste test. Taste, <laughs> taste it. It's really nice. So we've tried the, the gin. It's also <laughs> gin and orange, I suppose, but um, never, nevertheless, that one's very lovely. So put that over there. We have another two to try as well, but we'll just have a break. I'm just going to now... Go back to the mediumship hour as well, because from America too, we had Honey Loren, who is a, a film producer over there and a client of mine for many years, but also she comes in on the, the Psychic Live as well, on live stream, on my own Facebook, as well as on um, Moonstruck TV and the New York radio. So she's here and... Um, when I looked at her name, because you have, when I'm doing a live, I have all of the, the names scrolling down. And I looked at her and I, when we started, I'd got this wonderful lady and she, I could see her and, and she was sort of quite broken and frail. But in, in her life, she'd been a great big personality. And she gave me her name, she was Christine. She didn't say who she was for or, or anything. She just wanted Christine, Christine, Christine. Um, and then she was, you know, I was hovering over Honey, Honey Loren's name, and it was for her. And she couldn't think of it at first, but then it was Christine who was her father, her, her in-law, her mother-in-law, father's wife. And that's how she, she couldn't quite get it at the, at the moment that she came in. But it was a message, very importantly, about her husband and about his health and his well-being that I gave over and also described her personality. And this is what she said, Honey Loren. Um, ah, regarding Christine, that's amazing. It's so her. You nailed it. Thank you. And then... My husband's father is still here, but elderly, and not sure he will be here for much longer. So that's that's one of the messages that Christine came in for, really to give her that reassurance. But also, um, her grandmother was there as well, and I felt her grandmother very, very strongly. Um, and she had the initial of R. I couldn't quite get her name, but the initial of R. But Honey was wearing her grandmother's clothes that day, and it was yesterday, and sorry, Monday. And she also, I gave her the initial G, it was a Glen or Glynis or something like that, but she's actually working with that person on a film at the moment, and that is Glen. So just a little sample, a demonstration, there's lots and lots of people who do this, but you know, when you are practiced and when you get to a point that you're really feeling as though, yes, I, I, I'm ready now to try and connect to spirit or they're coming and I've had a dream or I've had an experience or I've seen a ghost or something that has taken you into the spiritual world. That's the evidence that we're all looking for. It's real, like a name, a description or, you know, some sort of... Um, person that really really allows us you know this this level of change and I think that that's what's there so Christine is um Hannah's mother-in-law in spirit who came through and that was really poignant really poignant just another one um and then we'll we'll leave that sort of mediumship hour as well but this one was Really important, I think, for Faye Bryant as well. This one came through. And it was, thank you so much, Eleanor, for 
my message and she was really waiting for a message and I got two names together and for me my experience as, as a medium was actually getting this girl's name that was Michelle and I'd, at first I would just get the M I would see the M perhaps written on a piece of paper I knew that it was M then it was Michelle and then I had a boy and they didn't seem to be connected at all. And he was Danny, so Daniel. And to me, it was very strange because the, the two elements, two souls in spirit were not combined to that. I knew that they weren't family members together or anything, but Faye knew both of them. And that was the connection. So this is what I was saying about the menu, look at your own connections. And Michelle recently passed um, just a, a sort of couple of weeks ago. And she also knew a young boy who passed as well in a, a, an accident, um, Daniel, and he passed as well. So Michelle had connected with Daniel. I think it's important for people to understand that that sometimes can happen. Mm -hmm. And Michelle did give a really, really big message. And that was, tell them my name. Tell everybody my name. Don't let them forget my name. Mm -hmm. And that was for Faye Bryant. So there's some powerful stuff that happens. And, of course, we all want to share in that. And we all want to know that loved ones that have passed over got there you know we do, Eleanor, and i think it, it's a big thing you know for, for many people out there as well and for everyone you know do remember that you know eleanor grace does have you know the clairvoyant calls psychic services as well so you can take advantage of that have a reading as well it's 24 7 always remember that 24 hours a day and right now it's just 19.95 for 15 minutes now that's a bargain of course you can reach our lovely eleanor right there you've also got other psychic media you've got Mariam, you've got Julie and Carol. So if you've got a pen right there, the number is 03302029602. And of course, you could have some beautiful guidance, you know, right now, you know, what is to weigh if you want to connect with someone, you want to know if someone's still there, you know, make sure you can use that number. But also for everything else, go to lovely Eleanor Grace's website, which is gracedestiny.com. Calm, but it's great for people to have readings, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think people love it. They always have. It's never, ever faltered in popularity, even though I have seen different generations um, mm -hmm. sort of go, <laughs> obviously, my age, but, uh, but you see different generations go through. They've all got the same questions. We're all human beings. We all experience the same things. The only thing that really changes is technology, communication, how we communicate with each other and how society improves and renews itself to make everybody feel important and everybody mm. to feel valued um so the mystique over clairvoyance and, and that sort of mediumship area is now diminishing which is great and people do love to have guidance they do love to particularly want to connect to spirit want to connect to loved ones who have passed over they want to know about themselves they want to know what's happening in the future are they going to get married are they going to have children are they going to emigrate are they going to be successful in life and you know we all have those hopes and dreams but we all have disappointments as well and sometimes with psychic readings it, it just you know we can we can get up and we can go on can't we we can go on to the next the next challenge or the next massive success and that's what's important keep keep going really and on that note keep going I'm just going to get my psychic venom. Drink. I was just going to say, I can see them behind you, Eleanor. Like, you know, they need to see more cocktails. <laughs> I love being in Eleanor's kitchen. I don't know about you guys watching, but I was like, love it. I absolutely, it's great to see. This is my kitchen. Now, this is psychic venom. Now, it's a little bit of a kick on the old traditional vodka and lime. That's what it really is. Yeah. It's the vodka and lime. Uh, but it has got 
bitters in there. And there's just a little twist as well of um, kiwi. So a kiwi liqueur in here and cucumber. So it's got a pins sort of vibe with it. But this is psychic venom. Now, the reason that I've brought this out is because venom is there, isn't it, in September. Tom Hardy, who yep. likes Tom Hardy? All the ladies out there. <laughs> they I, mean, I love Tom Hardy. I mean, he's the most talented actor. He really is. Um, I don't know so much about Venom the film. I, I love other things that he's in. I don't think anyone does. I don't think anyone goes to really to watch a Tom Hardy film to really bother about the film. I think they go just to watch him, Eleanor. I think we're right. like you. I think, yes. <laughs> so this is in honour of the new Venom uh, film that comes out in September with Tom Hardy. So I'm just going to have a quick taste of this one as well, just to let you know. Here we go. Right, Teddy. Yeah, you can definitely, definitely taste the vodka in that one. But of course, you can have this without the vodka. You don't need the vodka in this one. So there we are. Um, cheers, cheers as cheers, well. Cheers, cheers. I know, Maybe. I know. I should have done my own. You know, if we do this again, Eleanor, I'll make them as well, and then we can ching ching together. Some of our audience can tell us their favourite cocktails. Yeah, they do. They do put them in. I love yeah. that. Lovely Carolyn um, put their vodka and lime takes me back to my teenage days. I love it. It's so good. We've got Tonya who's just logged on to put good morning. Lynn's put loads of love hearts. Uh, Wichika's put aw. Oh. Then also Trisha's put could I get the angels to comfort my friends? Of course, I'll make sure I put that request in for wow. yourself as well. And then angel face cocktail from before. Absolutely super. Thank you. But the biggest question for you, Eleanor, yeah. when all this is finished and we've said goodbye, Who's going to drink those cocktails? Oh, wow. Well, well, I've got a psychic night tonight. Um, that's in Mill Hill, London. So I've got to drive <laughs> from here where I am. Oh, um, she's in Mill Hill. So I I'm going to have to leave those for my husband. Maybe he will. Oh, lovely. Well. I'll, I'll just leave a little <laughs> taste of that. My daughter might like. Might yes, like yes. Well, I, if I was with you, I'll definitely have my name on them as well. Lovely. Well, we've got one more to go yet. This one is my We favorite. do. We definitely yeah. do. We definitely do. Before we do that one, Eleanor, yeah. can we just talk about about the a card of the week the magician as well yes let yeah. people know about that i did want to to bring in the magician it's got some really unusual qualities it is my card of the week it's the second card as well well the first card some say in the tarot but it follows the fool and with the magician you can always always guarantee that there are some unexpected developments that are going to happen but one of the most important things here about the magician card is to know that what you have is all of the the experience the tools that you need in order to face whatever challenge it is and that's what is there this week holiday romances they bring back memories and the magician card with those holiday romances really makes it for a cocktail did you see what i did there makes it for a cocktail of surprises and those surprises just really take us into a lovely memory um, of the weekend but the magician will bring in some unexpected surprises and that I think is what we all need we all need to really feel as though we've done something for somebody else to surprise them uh, that other people have perhaps made um, something happen that we wouldn't have ordinarily expected so that's something else that is really important to to know so the magician from the tarot just says well you're on your way you're on your journey you don't know which way to go right at the moment and you could have some different elements to look at but you're going on the right path you've got all the tools you just need to decide on the direction so the Love magician that. you'll read a little bit about that as well and you'll see um a little video about the magician card on my facebook page which is the one that you're on here <laughs> okay and uh, i'm just going to get this spirit surprise now here we go now this is probably my favorite one this one here mm. this is um fantastic it really is and this is based on an unusual combination of brandy and apple 
Ooh. So we've got a, a sort of lovely brandy base here. So we're talking about the base notes of the cocktail. And then we've got raspberry with it and we've got apple. And this is a real surprise in terms of taste. So this is a spirit surprise. And this really follows on from the ghost week last week. And that, you know, really allows us to have a few surprises this weekend. So quick taste and we'll see. Mm. Oh, yes, I can really smell that as well. The apple just gives it that little touch. So, spirit surprise, and that's it. cheers to you as well, Chris. Yeah, cheers, art. cheers. Spirit and to you as well. Thank you for making those, Eleanor, and introducing yeah. us to them. I mean, a great idea as well, but, you know, yeah. beautiful for people to do over the bank holiday weekend. And maybe, you know, send us some snaps if people are, you know, making cocktails over the bank holiday weekend. Oh, that'd be great. Spiritual be name, anything like that. Remember to tag me and the lovely Eleanor Grace in them so we see them as well. Now, I've had some lovely comments right there. Lovely Carolyn's put brandy, raspberry and apple are definitely will be trying that one as well. <laughs> Make sure it's called Boisier. That's the trick. <laughs> So good. <laughs> it's so, so good. We've had the lovely uh, Wichita, and then she's put, I think it's a party. Well, you got that one right, lovely. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. So I've had some great comments there as well. So, you know, continue to share, continue to tell people about this as well, and then also keep sending those stars for the lovely Eleanor Grace. Now, Wichita, you commented a lot. I'm going to do a quick angel card for you, sweetie, as well, because I know you asked for one earlier on. So we'll do this just for you. Why not? Let's have a look what you've got. Beautiful. And I love this card as well. The Angel of New Beginnings. Now, New Beginnings, you know, that's a big topic right there. Sometimes we can be a little bit scared about what's to come. We're unsure. It's the unknown. Now, if you're maybe a place in your life, maybe where newness is going to come, maybe you're a bit unsure, just go for it. New Beginnings, new opportunity brings in new positivity as well. So I'm just getting embrace embrace those new beginnings that's what it's all about and that's for you Wichita okay well to finish off we can't go with without just sending this little bit of a tribute here to Charlie Watts who's sadly passed uh, just just recently into spirit so uh, this is Obviously, if you don't know, is the uh, drummer the Rolling Stones, Charlie Watts. And uh, I will be putting up on my Facebook page, Miss You, which is the fantastic song uh, from the Rolling Stones. And his a uh, drum roll in that record as well, being amazing, really amazing. So I've lit my candle here now. This is for Charlie Watts. And maybe you would like to light a candle as well. Uh, for someone that you are missing today and somebody that you want to remember. And we will then sort of have our, our missing list. So send a message in. You can send a, a private message if you want to keep it personal, or you can just put a comment as well on this live stream. And we will be doing a little session just before Psychic Lunch on, well, Psychic School, sorry, on Friday. That's at 12 noon on Friday. And I will read out uh, some of the messages that you have put in if you want to join us then. Uh, that's with me, Ellen the Grace, on Friday at 12 noon. So I look forward to that. But remember, uh, keep your angels close and remember about those holiday romances. What can you actually um, duplicate this weekend? Maybe you can get together with hubby, girlfriend, boyfriend, your special partner and make it a very special time this weekend, particularly with um, our spirit surprise. I think, I think this mm. one's my favorite. So I'm going to uh, have a little taste of the spirit surprise with the apple <laughs> and the raspberry. I'm going to I say- I love that, Eleanor. It's, it's so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cocktail. It is beautiful cocktail. And, and viewers as well, do remember, lovely Eleanor Grace's blog will be live tonight at midnight. But if you, you know, want to know how it ends as well, and you've got some kind of stories on how it ends, you know, send that in to the lovely Eleanor. And of course, you could win a free reading with her as well. So, you know, if you kind of want to put your story on there, please do. <laughs> 
and send it through. Love the cocktails, Eleanor. It's amazing. Oh, fabulous. Okay. Well, here's cheers. And bye cheers bye. to everyone. Bye. Thank you very much for watching. Yes. And then we'll see you next week. Okay. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.